Good morning, Crossroads South. Today is Thursday, October 8th. It is a B day, which means you have blue, purple, and hap, and your B day encores. Um, in big news today, it is black and gold day for our week of respect. So if you forgot black and gold and you happen to be at home, I guess this is one of the benefits of remote learning that uh, go grab something yellow and gold and show your spirit. Today, our quote is this. There is a story behind every person. There is a reason why they are the way they are. Think about that and respect them for who they are. One of the things I love about Crossroads South is that we're all unique and all different and we can respect each other for all of those differences. So make sure you're wearing your black and gold and don't forget about the padlet that the counselors put out to show how you are respecting each other. Now in the background, of my video today, there is a red car. First of all, thank you to everybody who reached out to me. Um, I got lots, I got a Google map of the Kendall Park Diner and you are all right, it is the Kendall Park Diner. Um, I was able to look at the picture a little bit more detailed and we are talking about this bear and locating the bear. Um, I was able to look at the picture, definitely the Kendall Park Diner. I did not go there yet to interview the waitress as some of you suggested, but um, listen, we're at school already and there is one red car. So you know what? I decided to come to the classroom of the red car owner who happens to be Mrs. Rimmer. So I'm gonna put my mask on and um, I'm gonna have a little interview here with Mrs. Rimmer, socially distanced. Uh, Mrs. Rimmer, is that your red car? Uh, yes, it is my red car. I have the black and gold that in this case. I know, okay, next question. Is, um, do you have the bear? I can say truthfully, I absolutely do not. There. Okay, so did you go to the Kendall Park Diner? I did go to the diner with some colleagues. I was not by myself. How was the bear in your car? Well, here's the thing. My car is a tad on the older side. Um, I don't really usually lock it, though I should. I'm not in fear of anyone stealing it. <laughs> uh, so it was open. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> so I don't know that we got much further. This is Mrs. Rimmer's bear report here. Um, do you know where the bear is right now, Mrs. Rimmer? Uh, if I'm speaking honestly, at this exact moment, no. Did I ever? Perhaps. Crossroads, I think the staff is playing a very nice trick on me. Um, we'll have to come with some more details later. Thank you, Mrs. Rimmer. Uh, we have to locate this bear. Thank you to everybody who put out your reports. I wanna say I got a full investigative report um, from Mr. Michaels' home base. Thank you, Dripta, for sending that, which helped me on my journey. I didn't actually have to go there. So to end the morning announcements this morning, we are going to use the flag in Mrs. Rimmer's room. I have to get it in my frame. There it is. Boys and girls, it's Thursday. Make sure that you are being respectful. That's my final word to you. And to conclude today's morning announcements, please stand for the salute to our flag. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We hope to get more updates on our bear tomorrow. Thank you, Crossroads. Have a wonderful Thursday.